Welcome to Willow Creek Homestead. This morning we're taking care of our bunnies. What's going on with the bunnies, Sam? They're overheated. They're overheating. Um, the side of the house that they're on does usually get quite a bit of shade, um, but it is warming up here in southeastern Idaho. Um, we're getting into the 90s, which I know isn't super hot, but if you're a rabbit, it's kind of hot. So we are um, out here today. We've given them their frozen water bottles, but um, you can tell they're in quite a bit of distress. So we are gonna go ahead and move them to a different location and hopefully we'll see how the day goes, how much shade they have throughout the day, but it will definitely help for this early morning stress that they're having with the warmth. The front of the house. Okay. Um, you put that way. Now we just gotta bring the papa over. That will be much better, babies. Now, I'd like to raise it up, I think, on the bricks. Bricks. Okay, I got this. You put this in your pocket. Yeah. So, Yay! Why are we putting them on the ground? On, um, so they can, okay. um, the so, well, the poop will fall through and um, the oh, airflow. Air We'll be through. Should we put another block right here in the middle? Yeah. Okay, Ems, can you grab one? It'll be put fun. Down. Like, it's a whole new world! Okay, pull from the other side, guys. Pull? No, pull. Pull the block, the block, the cinder block underneath. Thank you, Emma. Awesome. awesome! Yeah! Could I get a bunny? Let's let them cool down for a Yeah, let's let them chill. Now let's get three cinder blocks to put Papa on. What is it, Mom? Should I tell Kenai to get it? <laughs> what shirt is that, Sam? Oh, I, oh the only person, the, there's only eight. You copied me. It's short and sloppy. Yeah, he still copied you. Okay, yeah. center box. Are we going to put the doors on the other side so that we can get to him? Yeah, we'll flip it. And he's in his bucket, but it's not going around. Everywhere. Okay, I get a bunny now. Um, Sam, let's let them settle for a minute. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. Standing up, cuddling together. Aw, they're so cute. They're very cute when they hop around their cages. Yeah. yeah. Especially the skinny ones. And also, the, especially the fat ones. Okay, mine. I think those two are a very good breeding pair, don't you think? I agree. They make beautiful babies. They do. That one's mine. They're so well-tempered. That mm -hmm. one's mine. Right there. The one with the long ear. So some of the signs of dehydration that we have noticed is um, drool. We did some research that bunnies don't drool unless they're dehydrated. Um, I am not a wealth of knowledge on, the, on this. Um, topic so if I'm wrong please correct me but um, they drool and we came home one day Papa had been his cage had been moved a little too far into the Sun I thought it was going to be shaded he was just completely soaked he had um, very wet um, chin area and his paws so we brought him in the house we cooled him down everything was really good well we started noticing that with some of the babies and mama is breathing very heavy feeling very distressed so all of that we have found to be signs of dehydration and I know that bunnies can die very quickly once they get overheated and dehydrated so this morning I had Sam fill up the water for the mama and babies with some ice in the water I have heard to also 
fill their water halfway throughout the day so they're not drinking hot water. So it's just an adventure that we're uh, learning as we go. We've moved both sets of bunnies over here. We've got Mama and her seven babies. And we're having a harder time keeping Mama cool than Papa. And I really believe that's because she has seven little furnaces that like to snuggle her. And so um, already they are more active. Um, significant temperature difference obviously over here in the shade. We, I don't pay enough attention to know where the sun goes throughout the day because I'm that cool. So we'll see how much shade they get over here. Um, we'll obviously put a tarp or something over them to help them. We'll just keep an eye on things. Um, we did have a really cool live last night, a live broadcast that we had some awesome participants in there kind of talking to us about um, different ideas for keeping them cool. Um, we, we were told by Diversified Acres that they they keep cool through their ears. And so fans are good, um, breezes are good. We have them um, up off the ground to help with the airflow. So that should help too. We have been keeping frozen water bottles in there with them throughout the day but that just hasn't been enough. So we're taking action, step two, trying to see what we can do for this bunny saga. And let's go check on our broody hen, see what's going on there. So we're hoping that um, as soon as those chicks get big enough, we can integrate them into this flock and have one flock and use that chicken coop for the turkeys. Really hoping to get a breeding pair this year. So that would be great. Looks like Miss Broody is still hanging out. I know it's kind of hard to see her. Let's come around the other way. She's probably getting kind of close. I need to check back. I was going to put it on the calendar and I didn't. And so I need to kind of check back find out when she went broody and kind of get a good idea as to when we might be expecting chicks. We did really debate with the idea of moving her out of the chick shaw. <sighs> we just had a lot of different information thrown our way and just decided to just let nature take its course really hard on me because I'm kind of a control freak in that regard. <sighs> anyway, so we're just kind of letting go what we can and can't do. So it'll be really cool to have some chicks in the homestead. Hopefully that will work out for us. The pigs are kind of angry with us. It's just, if you can hear them in the background. Um, we're, the ground is way too dry. We're having some problems with the electric fence and keeping them in it. So we thought we should save you all from pig escaped videos every day. <laughs> and we just have them secured in to their area. So they're not real happy with us. Freezer camp is coming up. So um, we're just trying to do the best we can until then. Thanks for coming along on this crazy journey that we call homesteading. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We love to hear from you. Also, we have a P.O. box if you're interested in sending us any snail mail correspondence. And we hope to see you tomorrow.